Recording. Yep. Hey everybody, we're back to more Mario Kart and let's play. I'm Nintendo 53, and let's move on. And that is not my intro. I don't know where my intro has been. I kind of forgot what it was. Why am I a multiplayer? That's not where I want to be. Damn, Jordan, you're drunk. Go home. Anyway, we're back in the last episode. We completed the 100cc um, Mushroom Cup, and in this episode, we complete the 100cc Flower Cup. Okay, who to play with? Who to play with? I picked Mario last time, so I think I'll pick Luigi this one. Okay, so let's see. I've unlocked a couple of things, and I really like this cart, so I really want to pick it, because it just looks awesome. Um, okay, let's see here what the best tires we got. Huh, slim tires. What do they do? High speed, average acceleration. Low grip is the problem by the look of it. Anyway, I like these slim tires. They're true racing tires. Okay, I'll go them. Let's go glider. This increases my celebration and lowers my weight, so... I think I'll pick... This one. Anyway, on with the flower cup. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so I've been playing a bit of this game. I played a bit with my mates, and... It's a good game, I must say. They're not too fond of it, as you... Look at the flower cup run through for, um, look at the flower cup play through for a multiplayer mayhem and you'll see. Okay, so first track we got today is Mario Circuit. This track is unique, because, oh, I don't know, it's like, it looks like it's got two sides to it, but I think it does, but I can't really tell because of how the layout is. Looks like it switches over, I don't know. So as I said, press the accelerator button right as the two drops down, or right as like the light the second red light, and you get your turbo boost like always. Actually, that's one thing I really didn't talk about that much in the first video. This game's graphics. This game's graphics are amazing! Like, seriously, this game is so pretty. It drives me crazy. Wait, how do I make one of them? Not only is this game's graphics just absolutely great, it's just, it's such a good game, like, the graphics are great, the presentation is amazing, and the gameplay is great too. And, well, to be fair, the character roster is lacking, as many people have said, um, so far, but I feel that lacking character roster doesn't take away the great parts of the game being really um, a lot of things. There's just so much great about this game. Oh, yes, they nailed it. Um, oh, God. I did not mean to... I'm worse than a meal! Jeez. I don't know why I'm going for coins even though I maxed out. This is, this is, damn it. There's a nice little detail about these Goombas that, um, I'll put a link. Yeah, I, probably, I might put a link. Um, there's a video that Game Explained did, where it turns out that the Goomba's eyes actually follow you, um, based on where you are on the track, which is a nice detail, I must say. It's details like that that make, um, make this game stand out from the rest. Oh, um, that, that can be a question of the day. So, um, with this game, you get a free download, co you get your Club Nintendo code, but, um, I know some people don't get the Club Nintendo code, because they live in unfortunate parts of the world where Club Nintendo doesn't exist. But you get a free code to download any game of your choosing from a, um, set amount of ga games. From a set amount of games. So, um, in the comment section below, tell me which of either your four games for US or ten games for um, Europe slash Australia you pick. I personally picked Mario Sonic at the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. The reason doing so is I own what I own Nintendo Land, Mario U, um, Pikmin 3, and I always forget the one. Uh, Wind Waker HD. I already own those ten games. Uh, those four games. I know you should game of Wario, and I know once I'm going to try such a great game, but I've not been for an RPG I've been playing a shit ton of Persona, and I'm kind of running out of my RPG high. I know, that's all problems. However, um, I do have to say that I am interested in 
Oh wow, I won that race easy. Um, I one for one I won, Sonic Lost World, We Party You, and Mario Sonic Winter Olympics. We Party is a great multiplayer game, but I ultimately don't have anyone to play the multiplayer game with most of my friends, which actually can't come over that often, so there's no point getting that game. Wonder if was a great single player game, and I recommend it, but I personally would rather have a physical copy. Um, plus I probably won't have the time for a single player game, because I'm playing this so much. Sonic Lost World is also a great game, however the problem I have with Sonic Lost World is I really want a physical copy because I collect Sonic games, it's my thing. I love Sonic Band. Also, I love the, um, Statue of Mushroom Liberty over there. So it's a nice little detail. It's, it's details like that that make this game shine. Right. Now, um, another thing I can mention about the Turbo Boost. You will actually get a Turbo Boost if you press the button any time while the two is fail. If you press the button, if you press the accelerate button any time while the two is on screen, you will get a Turbo Boost no matter what. However, based on what time you press it, you get a different boost. If you press the um, acceleration button near the end of the two, you'll only get a small boost, whereas if you press the start of the two, you'll get a big boost. Oh, you Daisy. You know why I'm so angry at Daisy this session? I mean, seriously, she's really good. Toad Joy Store. Um, a couple stuff I can point out about this track. This track has a really good detention detail. There's like, so much stuff, like, you may notice the Toy Store here is reminiscent from, um, reminiscent of a Toy Store that I do know it actually exists in America, um, which is, like, it's really huge Toy Stores. Um, this part right here is pretty obviously for anyone who's play, played Sonic Adventure 2, a copy of the, um, San Francisco Famous Hills, and the trams, of course, are copies of the famous San Francisco trams. But it's, it's beautiful little details like this that truly just shine above all the rest. Um, a lot of the billboards here are billboards from actual, well, not actual billboards, but references like Sunflower, Mario Motors, Shy Guy, um, there's, I know there's a Shy Guy one, which is, the joke about that is it says Shy Guy since 19, um, 80, 1987, which was the year, there, there is Shy Guy Metal since 1987, which 1987 was the year that, um, the American, the American version of Super Mario Bros. 2 or Dr. Panic came out, which is a neat little reference. Uh, that would be the Shaggy's Pretty. So his Toy Store here is great, and I actually... Oh, actually, to be fair, um, this track's probably one of my favorites, because I just like how it balances that Whoa, 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 that, that was weird. I just like how it balances everything all together. Um, there's a little short patio we can get. I follow Daisy through here. There's the Daisy. Um... But yeah, this track's... it's sweet, I was... Lightning user. Can I make this jump now? No, I can't. I missed that part. Coins! Well, I wasn't actually matched out, so for once the coin item was helpful. But no, seriously, there's so many little details in this game, and one thing I love about it is... With, um... With so many details, you'd think something would sound like the players would be really easy to spot or something, but no, they kind of just blend in, it's so unique, because one thing that bugs me about Smash for 3DS is the black outlines, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm so glad you can tone them down, because just, that was ter that was necessary as, well, Smash 3DS, yeah. oh, come on, Smash 3DS's graphics, they kind of bother me with the black outlines, but I'm fine with the shell shading, shell, cell shading, so I'm a fan, whoa! Whoa! I got combo. Now, nah, so there. Um, there's actually a Peach Daisy cake confectionaries there, which that's nice. Steal that. Should have green shot back with. Take the win. I think 100 CC was too easy, actually. Huh. Oh well. Two wins now. Um, fun fact about the point system in this game. Um, users of Mario Kart Wii will know the fact that in actually I'll check the highlight reel. Um, for something. Users of Mario Kart Wii will know the fact that, um, the last place person in Mario Kart Wii actually gets zero points. Um, in this, every place from 1st to 12th gets points. It goes 15, 12, 10, and then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, um, so on and so forth. Which... Oh, next place. Which is great little... It means that everyone's a winner, which, in our politically correct, screwed up world, I suppose is necessary. And we move on to Twisted Mansion. Now, this is something I want to bring up here. The official Mario Wiki states 
um, this is the first Mario game since I think Super Circuit that does not have a Luigi track. I personally think this is the substitution. True, some people are like, oh, it's a blue track. But this is clearly some kind of a Mar um, Luigi Mansion reference, which bugs me because it really... This is Luigi reference. This really is Luigi's reference. Anyone who says otherwise is just wrong, because after Luigi's Mansion, this is Luigi. This is Luigi's character. It, it's Screw you again, Mario. Um, next to job I, I, I can bring up here, um, as I brought up as well, Rollins. You may notice the headlight. If in a dark area, um, and I don't know how the game manages, so I'm just digging into it. Um, a headlight on the front of the character's go-karts will actually come on. Go-karts, bikes, or ATV. Oh yeah, anti-gravity, forgot. See, that's, that's what that bugs me about this game, like, the anti-gravity system's great, but you forget it's there half the time. I mean, sure, the wheels change, but you're not really looking at the car, you're looking at the track in front of you. Which, as a go-kart racer, I know how that fly. Let's see if I can get the upper path here. Oh, sweet, I got a fire flower. And the third place is that. Also, I love here when you got the fire flower at him, how the character just holds a fire, holds a fireball in their hand, they look like they can fly. Okay, um, for that I thought it was more like the, um, boomerang, you know I, mean? I thought it was more like the boomerang, where with the boomerang, um, every use actually, damn it, I just caught those three coins, every use actually takes down a point, but no, for, um, it seems for the fire flower, once you use it the first time, like the golden mushroom, it's on a timer, so you might as well, so you have to use everything you've got of it, you again, Lemmy, get a bloody item. I'll be fair, I'm in second place, it's probably some good points anyway, though I can actually use some of it in second place for top speed. I mean, after all, this car is built for top speed. Anyway, um, I managed to get the crazy, I think I got it, it was a multiplayer race, or what? Yeah, I think it must have been the multiplayer race. Actually, no, I remember, um, Connor got a crazy 8, I did. No, but then. I did not get a crazy 8, um, but I did, I was playing through the game, I got a crazy 8. Um, basically, all you can do is spam items when you get a crazy A. It's kind of ridiculous. But the crazy A is an awesome item, like that. It's a good item. Fine. Let me go this way. Okay. Coins, coins, coins. So many coins. So many. Hey, I got 10 points. Well, to be fair, we just mentioned two um, Dark Moon. Actually, I have a confession to make. I own Luigi's Mansion for Dark Moon. I played a fair amount. Actually, um, I played a fair amount of um, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, but I never beat the game. Like seriously, I owned and I played up to I think the sec end of the second mansion, but I never actually got around to the time of beating the game because then Pokemon X came out, and now Kirby from Deluxe came out. And that's about most of my time. But now this is out. I can play some new Pokemon Deluxe and some new Pokemon Which is yeah, I'm play it. Oh. Hi, boo. Yeah, just it bugs me because I really want to beat that game because it's actually a really good game when we use Ghost Mansion. Wait, no, let me just go catch enough for more. That's the Nintendo Land game. Let me just manage to guard it. Um. I didn't get used very much. Oh, maybe I did. Um. One thing I was saying there about. Man, man I might have to do 150. Um, red shells in this game, I've, a lot of reviews, mainly the games playing, will mention red shells are as lethal as they've ever been, being the fact that, um, red shells. Red shells are so popular, are so common, while blue shells rarely ever appear. Like, as you notice, I haven't got a single, there's not been a single blue shell this entire tour, um, cup. I'm more, I'm more on the final course now. Should I get ball? This is, this book looks amazing. But people are saying red shells are extremely dangerous. But no, because the red shell AI is still as shit as it's been in every Mario Kart game. Where red shells hit the wall once and they just break. In reality, the most dangerous item in this game is the green shell. A person with a well-aimed green shell can yeah, it's not a lot. A person with a well-aimed green shell can take out. Um, also one thing I haven't, um, one thing that's been here that I haven't brought up is um, um, you can actually get flip streams just like you can in Mario Kart Wii in this game. Um, let's see if can, uh, I doubt the AI is going to be kind enough to give me flip stream. But you can only get flip streams. Also, um. I'll show it off, I'll pick a bike in the next cup, I'll pick a bike. Yeah, I'll pick a, I'll pick a bike in the next cup. And show it off, but um... Oh wow, you can have red shells. Okay, can, yes, they destroyed it over the fence, sweet. But I'm um, with the red shell, I'm um, with the chest. Um, 
fives. Inside drifting from our FLW, which I know a lot of people need to get the best staff first time, is actually back. Um, with fives and hearts and stuff drifting. I had a green shot too. With um, them all drifting. Yeah, no. With them all um, drifting differently based on their drift. Like sometimes they'll go to the inside of the car. I know that is for a fact back. And it makes me kind of happy as a tennis person. However, it is different because um, bikes have the big advantage because with bikes is faster with wheelies and everything. Wheelies in this game are purely cosmetic; they do not increase your top speed or anything like the Mario Kart Wii. Um, however, inside drifting does, of course, help like the Mario Kart Wii. However, one thing. Oh, I stole his mushroom too. Um, one thing. I'll get back here, Mario. I'm gonna top that. Or not. It's weird how you keep your momentum into that, but I'm thankful that I'm just gonna get it. I'll take the banana, let's see what we got. Crazy eight! I knocked like four, like three of those shells off the edge of the cliff. There we go, there's the crazy eight for you. It was just like the lucky seven Mario Kart 7. Except you get one more out of this. Yeah, it's, it's usually a combination of green shells, red shells, um, banana peels. There's always a star from what I see. And, um, I mean, it's a golden mushroom. But, um, the difference between carts and bikes in this game is carts are good. I think, what was it? I think carts are really good in a straight line. Carts are really good in a straight line, and carts are really good on um, actual bitumen tracks, so like Mario Circuit, Mario Kart Stadium, that stuff. While um, bikes are bikes are better around corners, and bikes are also um, wow, well, I got the wing every track. Bikes are also better on dirt tracks, like um, in the meadows and this. That's just what they're better at. So that's real difference. Yeah, I clean, clean sweeped it with 60 points. I won't even came close. But bikes are pretty interesting, and I, I'm interested in looking at But even in Mario Kart Wii, I always, I've always been a fan of the kart. And I think that might be because I'm a kart racer myself, but I just would like the kart option. If I, if it weren't kart though, I'd probably go the new ATV option, just because I really like it. Um, you can get a sneak preview of the ATV there on Bowser. I'll probably pick an ATV for of course. That's probably not too smart considering Rainbow Road is on the fourth path. Kind of must be disappointed they got rid of the traditional, um, victory celebration, three race podium thing from Double Dash. I, don't, I can't remember if that wasn't, yeah, it wasn't Wii, it was just, I like Double Dash as one best, but I really wish they kept it, but they, in the last, they don't, but, yeah. It's not too bad. I'm not sure we'll fire cut, but just Mario Circuit. I'm um, Toad Harbor, I mean. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. I was checking Conroy set on me first. These bloody trophies, the trophies they've got are so amazing. Wait. Huh? Star Cup's not the last cup? We got a Luigi one. Weird, I thought Star Cup was the last cup. I guess it was the what's the last cup then? I can't remember. But no, seriously, these trophies were made. Like, I remember hearing something about like real real life Mario Kart trophies like this. And I so wish if that was up for purchase, I would buy it. Because that'd be amazing. Let's go in here and see what um what we got. Yeah, that's another thing. The three star thing that shows up. I wonder what that is. I'll have to check that out. Ooh, looks like we get a character I've been wanting to play as, and I'll probably play as her next time. Rosalina! Yes! Rosalina is indeed playable in this game, and in fact, I'm making the vouch, um, vouch right now, especially some of these bikes, and I want to see if I really like those. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop that sandwich right there. Um, I'm going to pick Rosalina next time with bikes. Ooh, let's see, I got new tires. I got a zero roller. Those look stupid. What do they do? Ah, uh, all acceleration by the look of it. I like the sports bike personally myself.
I'll pick- I'm not picking my options now, but I'll pick something of these. However, next time we will do Star Cup. Which, to be honest, is a cup I'm looking forward to a lot, because Sunshine Airport, Electrodome, and Electrodome are courses I've been wanting to race ever since their announcement. So, next time on Mario Kart 8 single player mode, um, we will play the Star Cup with Rosalina and Bikes. See you guys then.